Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe, serious betting for serious punters. G'day and welcome to Bet Deluxe Inside the Barriers. And have we got a super weekend of racing, five Group 1s at a rain-sodden track up there at Rose Hill. But it is a brilliant day of racing. And down here at Flemington in Melbourne, it's the All-Star Mile. And speaking of stars, look at this man here, Paulo. Very good, uh, very good afternoon to you, BM. But uh, you've forgotten about uh, your Adelaide Cup victory, which we've uh, which we've got a little bit of footage oh. of you here. We've got a little photo of you uh, of you up here as well, holding up the uh, the golden Adelaide Cup, BM. There we go. That's me. <laughs> That's the man in the middle with the hat. And uh, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> emotionally. It was just one of those days. I started my calling career there in 1970 in Adelaide, and I was there for two years before I came to Melbourne. And the day I left Adelaide, my little <laughs> Valley and Charger. Uh, it was Adelaide Cup Day in 1972. So 50 years on to go back as an owner with our great friends OTI and our syndicate of uh, the Beartown Syndicate to have a runner in the Adelaide Cup and have Jay Carr, the star, aboard. And uh, yeah, it was a big day. It was yeah. a big day. It, 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 very, very satisfying. And I think one of the happiest days since a couple of Cox there plates there a few years ago. <laughs> the stars just aligned. Yeah, yeah, it was lovely. It was Speaking of stars as well. This all-star mile for you. What a, what a cracker of a race this is going to be. Good deck. Good it form. is indeed. And this is going to be the punters pick for the weekend, BM. The biggest race of the weekend with the biggest amount of prize money on offer. It's going to be the punters pick. So make sure you leave your selections in the comment section on the Bet the Luck social media pages for this trifecta for your chance to Bet win that Dan Murphy's gift voucher. The boys at Bet Deluxe have got a $500 voucher. No one Uncle, can win it. At Uncle Dan's. It's there for No you. one can win it. Someone, someone's got to collect it. So, so how do we do? What, what are we going to do with I'm Thunderstruck? Barrier one. Oh, and they're all jumping up and down saying, you can't win yeah. for barrier one. <laughs> it's the shortest way home. It is indeed. Uh, look, he's a $6 elect at the moment with us at Bet Deluxe. Zaki's the $3.30 favourite drawn out wide. Pinstripe, we all saw how unlucky he was in the Australian mm. Guineas. Uh, and then we've got Inspirational Girl who knocked off Zaki uh, last start at six bucks. Mr. Brightside has been the subject of a little bit of each way support at $15 and Tofane is around the same price as well. Look, I, I think obviously these type of races are going to be genuinely run. So Correct. barrier one for I'm Thunderstruck might be an issue if they walk because he'd be cluttered up there on the inside. But I think they're going to string out enough I think they will. for him to be able to get off and manufacture a run or he might just get up on the rails and, and sneak up on the rails. Well, a guy like ball. McNeil is a sort of rider that can ride for yep. luck. Mm -hmm. And it's a long run home, you know. If you get beaten, you're a mug. Uh, yeah, exactly. But just the gap will come because naturally when horses, high level, high pressure, horses will roll out mm. under pressure mm. and runs eventually do come. It's, it's rare for them to go to the line hard held at that high level. Yeah, I, I think the one to be with here as well, look, I mean, he's clearly just been aimed at this race. I'm thunderstruck. There's no... No question. Look, I mean, he's been there to win at his first two runs, but he hasn't, clearly has not been wound up. So we know how good of a miler he is. And we saw him when, you know, we saw him in the 2 a handicap. We saw him in the Golden Eagles. So he's got to be there or about, but... Oh, I think the market's just completely disrespecting Tofane. I thought, thought well, she yeah. started shortest in, in one of the main lead-ups against I'm Thunderstruck as well and has beaten her home a couple of times too. So I, I think she's a massive price at the moment. And Mike Moroni's stable is... They're flying. I mean, they won, they won the new market handicap with, with Rock and Horse at, at a million to one. Mm. <laughs> there's, no, I don't, there's no reason why she can't run a cracker each way at, uh, at 14 bucks, BM. She's going to yeah. be my go in the race. Now, you talk about Pinstripe. He's a three-year-old. He's yep. got 56. The mm. horse is at the top. Look at the prize money they've won. Look at the races they've won. I'm Thunderstruck and, of course, Zaki. There's only a three-kilo difference between these top-line performers proven at the Group 1 level and a three-year-old who had the flashing light on his head to say, Correct. I was a good thing. There's Correct. only three kilos between them. If the handicapper could get them again, there should have been. There should be six kilos. I, I would say so. That Yeah, I, I think it, it might also be coming a little bit too quickly for a horse like Pinstrop as well. Look, the run yeah. arguably should have won the Australian Guineas, obviously. Yeah, we, yeah. we know how unlucky he was, but maybe with a bit of even luck we can see what's really under the under the hood. But I think, for me, just Tofano represents fantastic... Each way value, third up mile, we'll get a lovely run from the barrier too. We'll be up on the pace with a little bit of cover as well and, you know, at, at around about 14 bucks, she's going to be my play in the race. If I was going for the trifecta, I'd be with her, Zaki, and I think I think Pinstripe can hold down third spot from a horse like I'm Thunderstruck, an inspirational girl, but I'm Tofane, Zaki and Pinstripe, BM. What about this little mare, Sierra Sue? <sighs> she's yeah, a knockout. She had, P she had the 
absolute perfect run right place, right when time, she resumed. Correct. And yep. I, I, there's the, the little knock on her, she's, she's had feet issues. Yeah, true. So, so I'm just not, and I'm not sure if she's, oh, she is up to group one level, she's up to this sort of standard, but not for me in this race, I don't think. Okay. Now, Zaki uh, had trialled AK into yes. the lead up, got run down in the last drive by Inferational Girl. Yep. Uh, I still think, even from barrier 15, going to need a little, little bit of luck, J Carr. She'll balance, she'll get the right spot at the mm -hmm. right time. Mm -hmm. I can't help but think that that'll just clean this horse right up, Zaki, to, to go a little bit better. And, and I reckon the market, they've got it pretty tight, Zaki, but I reckon they'll even out a little bit. I think, I think it will. I think it'll drift, potentially. Uh, but I, for me, my only knock, one of, one of the knocks on Zaki is that I'm not a massive fan of second up mile. I'd rather be third up mile, if that makes sense. And mm -hmm. I, I think he's a much better horse getting up over sort of 2,000 metres where it's, you're allowed to sort of roll out where there's sometimes those 1,600 metre races can be quite sharp. But, yeah, Tofano He likes me. to be sort of up near the lead. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I think it's going to be almost a similar race to his first yeah. up run yeah. where he'll, he'll get to the lead yeah. And then potentially something with a smothering behind him might just Ping. nab him right on the line. And I hope it's, I hope it's Stefano. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to go Zaki 2, I'm yep. Thunderstruck 1, an inspirational girl, because it'll get all the favours from the gate uh, from barrier number tw uh, from number 12 here. So 2 one, 12 is mine to try and get that $500. And that's the all-star mile. What a, what a yep. cracking race it's going to be, PM. Yep. There's a race up in Sydney called the Golden Slipper. Now, this has been going around for a long, long time, this race. And I've got a runner in the race. You do have a runner in the race. And she she uh, she jumped out very, very sharply at, uh, at Flemington. But Cool and Gatta, who she was supposed to go head-to-head -head with a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago. It missed the race. It did, yeah. So it's a $4.80 elect at the moment. So Jardin for Gary Portali at $6 has been the subject of a little bit of each-way support. She's extreme at eight fifty. Fireburn at eleven bucks, and Jacano, mm. uh, one of the place getters in the Blue Diamond, at eleven dollars. Cool and Gatter has, has been drifting since the markets open. I think obviously because of this heavy track, and it's an unknown on the heavy track as well. So we don't know how he's going to handle it. We know Sajardin handles it, and we know she's extreme handles it, and she's going to be mm. my go in the race. I thought she was fantastic winning last start, and the Cummings Cummings family are going well at the moment. Uh, Brett Pribble takes the ride. Draws a perfect barrier each way for me. Paul, I reckon it's fair to say this is a very even lot of two-year-olds. I'd say Melbourne so, and yeah. Melbourne Sydney. Like, yeah. there's no jump-out star. Mm -hmm. Cool and Gatter looked as though it may be the one. There's that hoodoo of a Magic Minions winner into the Golden Slipper. That record's not good. Not too many try it. Uh, she missed that lead-up important race on a heavy 15 up there in Sydney. She has barrier trial brilliantly. Uh, she's probably the one, but I reckon the market's going to be sort of four and a half dollars the field. I think so, yeah. And the market's saying that at the moment too. And I think with a horse like Cool and Gatter as well, as we said, he's untried on the heavy track. And I'm not sure that Gold Coast form has too much Pretty, substance yeah. to it. I know we saw Capitalist a couple of years yeah. ago come out, win the Magic Millions yeah. and then win the Slipper. But when we, I think the last time we saw a super heavy track in a Slipper, Kia Michi won it about 30 to 1. <laughs> Damian Lane took the ride there. So yeah. we, we could get something like that. I'd be steering away from from Cool and Gatta at the price at the moment, and she, she's extreme for me. But yeah, yeah, we'll just have something on our little filly, Lady, Lady Laguna, Laguna, each way. Linda Meach rides. We want a middle pin. Yep. We got to the wrong part of the track over on the inside in that lead up up in Sydney. Uh, forget that. And at 50 bucks, you I was get to say she's. What do you say? A couple of little acorns each way. Worth a peanut. A worth peanut, a peanut each way, way, Lady yeah, Laguna. But, definitely. But a very open slipper. Um, we've got obviously the best horse in the land and very elegant. Looks like a, a gimme. Yeah, I'll just we'll let this one through to Adam Gilchrist, I think. We'll just let that, <laughs> that through. Dollar thirty five, very elegant, Montefilia five fifty, Angel of Truth seven bucks. I don't think anything's really going to beat Very Elegant. They're all staying away from her like Winks. Yep, yep. And what about uh, Animo and the Rose Hill Guinea? Yeah, dollar ninety favourite. I think. Look, deserved favourite given he started. Uh, you know, he started favourite in the lead up. Widely in. discussed horse, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, and you, you copped a bit of flack on Twitter for it, didn't yep, you? You, yep, you yep. reckon he had, he's had uh, the gut busters of sort well, of caught up with him? I'm just going back to what he was doing in the spring. Yeah. And, and because he's such a brilliant horse and it's such a good horse, not a champion yet. Yeah. But he's, he always has to do it the hard way. Correct. His win in the Caulfield Guineas was phenomenal. Yep. Then very few can go from the Caulfield Guineas straight into the Cox Plate. And he did. Two-week break, you know. Uh, and he went. And I always have this thing that you get a three-year-old into the Cox Plate, quite often they can get beaten up by the older horses. And that was an absolute battlefield yep. that day. It went to the stewards' room. The rocking and rolling and punching on over the last 200. And that just worries me that, and this might sound stupid, that the, the, the spirit of the horse can get broken. Could a couple back, 
that he's had have all had to be come off the speed, try and get there, fly home. All the time, it's a strain, it's an effort. Um, and I'm not saying he can't win, but I always worry about against the older horses if they've sort of yeah. copped a whack. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I think the thing I've taken from his runs is that I reckon he's now looking for 2,000. No, no doubt. And, and we know, a, you know, trainer like James Cummings and Godolphin, they're always looking to get their horses up to that middle distance, staying sort of range as well. And I actually did a, I did a mind the run last year. He had to come from behind Converge. And we don't know if Converge is actually going to run here or in the George Wright. He's nom for both. So... Keep an eye out on the markets there, but uh, and then line up on the Doncaster with no weight. Exactly right, and we, we know how good we know how good Gay is at, at getting these three year olds right. to, to run really well in the, in these massive races. So look, Animo for me in that race, but probably not a bet. I wouldn't have thought. Okay, what do you do with the Galaxy? Yeah, this is an intriguing race. Isotope brings his Gold Coast form bolted in up with the Gold Coast Ooh. after she had uh, she had a throat up. She's a three dollar eighty favourite. Brooklyn Hustle eight fifty overpass at nine bucks. Powell at ten dollars and Big Parade at ten dollars. Isotope Moral. Yeah. Moral. Yeah. Love Can't it. be beaten. Love it. Um, yeah, so what's the best? For me, look, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Isotope. I think I, I love the way she let down and won up at the Gold Coast. I know that Gold Coast form can sometimes be a little bit conspicuous and we don't know if there's too much depth to it, but love the way she, she's trialled up uh, and she handles the wet going, which is a big tick too. And she's got a, a dynamic turn of foot, dynamic turn of foot. I don't think drawing out wide is going to be too much of a problem because w the knock on her was that she was a little bit sort of tardy away. But the way she jumped up at the Gold Coast was a sign to me that Tony golan has got that problem out of her. Yep. So I think she's going to be the one one to be with this weekend, BM. She's going right. to be my best, absolute best. I'm staying with a picket fence with Yonts in Melbourne. Just keeps winning. You're going up head to head against I'm go me, head like last week. You, you got yeah. the you got the vote you, in. You're you were with Groovy kind of love. Yeah. Now I'm going to be with Groovy. You went flying love mascot this weekend as well. So I'd be keeping a key, keen eye on Groovy kind of love. I think the form, I think that form behind flying mascot is is it's just a rung below Group One level. Yeah. But I think it's good enough to to knock off a horse like Yons, who I'm hoping for my sake, in my pocket, that is just coming to the end of its preparation. Lots of uh, great racing. Uh, we'll be up there cheering. <laughs> from You'll the, be up there with Lady the Laguna. Yeah, Lady yeah. Laguna, hoping. But uh, fabulous day. It'd be nice to go and try and relax uh, and have a day out at the races. Got a little horse in the, uh, in the city that's running later in the day up the straight. A little grey horse called Paper Boy. Yes. Watch this little fella. He's going well. He's up the straight for the first time, but he's uh, had two runs for us. A win at Caulfield and just nutted at his last start. Hasn't gone backwards. He's drawn out past the middle. He's worth a Peanut each one. Oh, I, might, I might have to get him in the uh, in their tipping site, the tip tip stop bet deluxe dot com dot I'll, I'll, I'll get workers. him on there. Yep, absolutely. So, and don't forget, make sure you leave your comments in the uh, in the on the social media channels with us at Bet Deluxe for your trifecta, the punters pick for the All Star Mile uh, to go into the running to win that Dan Murphy's gift voucher. Hopefully. Someone can get it this weekend, BM. Fingers crossed. Two one twelve for me. Yep, I'll be with uh, Tofane Zaki, and I've got uh, I've got uh, in for third. I'll be throwing in a pinstripe for Enver Yusufovic. Good, good on you, Paul. Good luck, BM, and good luck, punters, this weekend. There it is. We've been inside the barriers for Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters. Gamble responsibly. Inside the barriers. Brought to you by Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters.